Here we are on Coast Highway. Oh, yes. And here's where I keep my archive of negatives and proof sheets. There's seven bins of these. I figured multiply seven times 50,000, you got 350,000 pictures. I kept taking pictures of things that wouldn't be there anymore. And that's what I stuck to for 30, 40 years. The odd spots in the lagoon, the alleys, behind the buildings. Got all these places are, now they're, they're gone. His personality was tied in with his camera. He looks like a college professor, but he always acts like he knows what's going on. All right. Some people are actually have been upset about Douglas Miller and his fancy free photography taken around Laguna Beach. Well, the thing was, was he was always at a distance, but he was always everywhere and he was always taking pictures. When someone is different, yeah, you might be a little bit afraid of that. Yeah, he had a little notebook that he used to carry around. These are the names of people I took pictures of that day. This is 1993, July 18th. There's the people's names. That's when I changed the roll of film. But other people have vices and spend all their money on stuff. I, I bought film. I don't drink or anything, and I'm not in any druggy things at all. People think I am because my hair is long, but I'm not that way at all. I just like my hair this way. Uh, he's a very unique individual. He's a very talented painter, and he's got a heart of gold. All these people, are just a, the galaxy of folks you meet every day, and they just go by, and there's thousands of them. It's a remarkable thing to feel that. It's, it's nice to do a painting that feels bigger than me. I lear learned way back, take them fast before, they, before they're aware of it. And you end up with the best shots in the world that way. It'll be called the epitome shot. It's always trying to get the epitome of a person, the, what they really are about. And Douglas Miller is the Renaissance man on Laguna Beach. Artist, musician, photographer, human being.